Today I'm going to be unboxing and testing out the Dr. Diver Stella. Let's jump right into this video. What is up guys? Welcome to EduVape, the place to learn about vapes. I make vape unboxings, reviews, and more. If you're into that stuff, hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. So the Dr. Dabber Stella is a concentrate vape pen. What makes this unit a little bit unique is that the atomizer is made out of a unique material, alumina ceramic. The other thing that's unique about this pen is that the battery doesn't just apply constant voltage. It actually applies voltage based on the desired temperature of the atomizer. So that's pretty unique let's see how that function plays out so yeah let's jump right into this unboxing So here's the front of the box. You can see Stella written right there and the Dr. Dabber logo in the center. On the side of the box, there's less heat, more flavor. And that's what they're trying to accomplish with the Dr. Dabber Stella, something for the flavor. And on the back of the box, you'll find a diagram of the unit in the center, a bunch of key features about the unit right here. There's also a diagram of the atomizer. The Dr. Dabber Stella has a cutting edge cyclone airflow that allows for optimal flavor and vapor production. It has advanced heating system. The Stella has three optimal heat setting along with preheat setting for optimal vaporization. The Stella features a long-lasting battery that charges rapidly. It can be used while charging and it's USB-C. Nice. Very very interesting little device. Today we're going to be unboxing it, testing it out. Let's jump right into this unboxing. Stella opens just like this. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is the instruction manual. Here is a quick and easy to read instruction manual for Stella. Next, you open this little tab and it reveals the USB-C charging cable. Right underneath the charging cable, you'll find a little tool. One end is scoopy and the other end is a kind of like a ball end for picking up more stable products. Pretty cool. That's about it when it comes to accessories. So here's Dr. Dabber Stella. You can see that there's a Dr. Dabber logo in the center. This top portion right here is the mouthpiece. This part right here is the atomizer. This down here is the battery. You can see Stella written at the bottom of the base. Dr. Dabber on the other side, at the center right there, you can see a USB-C slot charger device. You will also see two air path holes on the atomizer. At the very bottom, you'll find a Dr. Dabber logo. This lights up. You can easily take the mouthpiece off. It's magnetic. There's a little silicone seal right there that can easily be taken off. The whole unit is a very unique stainless steel construction. Here is the silicone, here's the alumina ceramic. It honestly looks just like the Puffco Plus Addy, but you have a little bit more working space. The threads feel really nice. I don't see them wearing out anytime soon. You can see the battery connection is almost a 510, but there's a unique nipple part in the center. So this is pretty much everything that comes with your Dr. Daver Stella. Let's go ahead and jump right into a test and try out the Stella, see if it's any good. To turn a Stella on, press the power button five times. Whoa. You'll notice the haptic feedback, and that's actually pretty cool. I know the Puffco Plus doesn't have haptic feedback. I actually don't know any pen that actually has haptic feedback. That's a cool addition. So now that's on, you can press the power button three times to cycle through the temperature. Go ahead and select the temperature you'd like. When you cycle through, you also get the haptic feedback. Green is 550, cyan is 630, and orange is 775. Purple is preheat, which is 460. I'm gonna keep it on green. Now that you have the temperature you'd like, go ahead and remove the mouthpiece and fill up your device. Now that your device is full, put the mouthpiece back on. And just like that, you're ready to go. Double tap the button for preheat mode. That'll melt everything down. You can also just skip that completely and jump right into a session. Press the button for on-demand heating. As you press, vapor is being created. Or double tap for that preheat mode. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a blinker on green. The 
flavor on green is exceptionally good. Let's go ahead and bump up the temp. One, two, three. We got that cyan. Okay, let's bump it up. Now it's on red. And that's on red. Let's go ahead and try that preheat mode. Double tap. You don't love <coughs> All right, pretty interesting device. So what are my thoughts? The flavor is actually pretty good. On all the modes, the flavor is actually pretty good. This doesn't seem to overheat your oils at all. The way it, <coughs> the way it's able to not apply constant voltage, but variable voltage based on, based on the desired temperature of the atomizer really seems to make a difference in terms of overheating. No matter how long I would cycle the battery for, it doesn't seem to overheat battery. This means that they'll save the coil in the long term and yeah. So that's pretty neat. The bad thing is the vapor production seems to be a little bit less than other devices like, like the Puffco Vision Plus. Did the Illumina ceramic make a difference? I actually think that it kind of did because like the way it tastes, it just tastes really, really unadulterated. And also it, it got to the proper um, temperature level pretty quickly. In terms of overall build quality, I really like this construction. The only thing I would improve is probably the mouthpiece. This gets way too hot. After those three cycles, this mouthpiece is hot enough where it would actually burn you if you used it. So maybe some kind of silicone protection right here would be really nice. It's really nothing to complain about. Pretty solid device. So only get the Stella if you really want that heating algorithm where it doesn't overheat your oils and you want maximum flavor. The Stella is for maximum flavor. Because of that heating algorithm, it doesn't seem to produce as much clouds. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and visit edgevape.com to learn more about the Stella. My name is Sean, and this is Edgevape, the place to learn about vapes. Oh, yeah.